dear chess, distinguished guests, honorable speakers, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to deliver opening remarks on behalf of the second edition of the Moroccan Artificial Intelligence Annual Conference 2022. I would like to thank the organizers for their enormous efforts to make the second edition of this conference possible again this year. I am delighted to see so many distinguished speakers with great experience on the program of this particular today's conference and take part of it. Artificial intelligence and technology represent vast opportunities for us as individuals, for business and industry, and for the public sector. If artificial intelligence is used correctly and wisely, it can therefore contribute to achieving sustainable development goals in Morocco and all over the world. Artificial intelligence is already leading to a new social and economic reality and can help great progress for the society whose members have mutual respect for each other, making each person leading in an active and satisfying life. And this could not happen if there is and if there aren't various social programs which are accessible to all citizens. In Morocco, His Majesty King Mohammed VI has emphasized many times on the importance of an in, in, inclusive generalized social security program and the importance of creating a social unified database register that would guarantee equity and equality in access to social security for all Moroccans and improve social profiling, allowing those better access to social care programs. In accordance with this vision led by His Majesty, various activities have, be have begun and the Social Unified Database Register is currently in phase of development and deployment where many citizens have already registered in it. Also, the Social Unified Database Register will be connected with several information systems which are developed specifically for social programs and will therefore generate a huge amount of data that can only be valuable if we can extract value from it. To improve more and more social programs design to better answer citizens' needs. At this end, we will converge toward Artificial Intelligence Society 5.0, where artificial intelligence is the channel through which we can transform data into practical insights. It is important to mention that artificial intelligence should not only be restricted to academic elites and tech people, but it should also be accessible to all citizens. In this way, awareness and understanding of the use of artificial intelligence should be spread into the society as a whole. The technology change related to artificial intelligence can only be accepted if society at large is widely involved. All actors should proactively take advantage of artificial intelligence in a responsible way to improve human capabilities and enhance creativity, strengthen underrepresented populations, reduce economic, social, gender, and other inequalities, and protect natural environment, thus refreshing inclusive growth, sustainable development, and well-being. Since the theme of the conference is toward a promising national artificial intelligence strategy, I believe that the best approach is the one that is centered around human beings, which balances economic development with the resolution of social challenges. In that way, we can build a strong society which reaches 
various needs of people regardless of region, age, gender, language, etc. The key to, to its fulfillment is the fusion of the cyber world and the real world to generate data and from there create new values and solutions to resolve challenges. In such artificial intelligence powered society, artificial intelligence actors should respect the role of law, human rights and democratic values through the artificial system life cycle. These include freedom, dignity and autonomy, privacy and data protection, non-discrimination and equality, diversity, fairness and social justice. To conclude, I would like to thank all committee members who graciously devoted their time and efforts to organize this conference and take a participatory approach in discussion fundamental questions about artificial intelligence taking into account the concerns of citizens and civil society. I would also like to express my best wishes for a most rewarding conference and await for conc your conclusions and recommendation with much interest. Since I am sure they will greatly contribute to the development of the public and private sectors, as well as the civil society. Thank you again for the invitation and I wish you successful conference.